welcome to its rafiq in today's video i am going to discuss about the application based questions of variables and constant in c chapter 15 class 9 computer science so the first question is identify whether the following are keywords used in c language keywords means the reserved words which have some predefined meaning to the compiler so our first word is const so you already got const is used to define a constant in c program so it is a reserved word number 2 float float is a data type and it is used to define a variable so it is also a reserved word then number 3 it is a uh, amount amount is not included in the list of reserved word in c so it is not reserved number d int it is short form of integer and it is also a reserved word then next one long long is also a data type so it is also a reserved word next one compiler compiler is not added on the list of reserved words so it is not next one double double is a data type so it is reserved word next one is unsigned it is an specifier whether it is a, a positive value or negative value so it is reserved word we cannot keep a variable name with this word now we'll move to next question which of the following are valid or invalid variable name if it is invalid why so our first name is row 2 as it is not included in uh, in the list of reserved word provided by c so it is valid variable name if it is valid we don't have to write the reason then minimum it is also a valid variable name then we have float it is invalid because it is a reserved word according to the rules of identifiers a uh, variable name or identifier name should not be a reserved word so it is invalid then customer it is valid customer is not included in the list of the reserved words then and person roll number it is invalid reason is it started with symbol a variable name should be always start with letters it cannot start with a number or symbol so it is invalid then next one first name it is valid a variable name may have underscore in between them if we may use two words to define a variable name then we can use underscore 
then a dollar it is also invalid because it contain symbol a variable name can include only underscore other than underscore if we use any symbol then it will be invalid then we'll move to question number three that uh, what will be the value of c after execution of the following code assume a b c are declared as integer data type so the a is 20 b is 6 and third line c equal a plus b that means we will have c equal 20 plus 6 it is 26 now the value of c is 26 again c equals c into b that means c equal c value is 26 so it will be 26 then b is 6 so into 6 so the 26 into 6 we will get 156 equal 156 now the final value of c is 156 so answer you will write the value of c after execution of the following code is 156 so this will be the solution for the question number 3 this way you can solve it then we'll move to next question question number 4 write a statement to read three integers entered by the user such as 34 123 345 use variables n1 n2 and n3 for this here the variables names are given we have to write the statement to accept three integer values for that we will write answer to take input from the user as we are taking standard input means we are taking integers so we will use here scanf scanf then break it here double quotes I am taking here three integers so three times percent d percent d means it takes integer numbers if we write percent f then it will take real number or floating point number if we take percent c it will take character as i am writing percent d it will take integer numbers so i have written here three times percent d that means it will take three integers after quotation he will give a comma then n percent symbol and the variable names where you want to store that numbers as I want to store that numbers on n1, n2 and n3 so we will write n person n1 comma n person n2 comma n person n3 after that semicolon semicolon is compulsory so this way you can write the answer of question number 4 now we'll move to question number 5 How many bytes will the following take in memory? The first one is in single quotation x. If we write anything in single quotes, it treat as character in C program. So a character in a C program consume one bytes of memory. So here we will write one byte. And if we write anything within double quotes, it treat as string or a word and string variable takes two bytes of memory in c program so this storage will be two bytes so that's all for today's video see you in the next video till then take care and bye